I want to share with you one very simple tip to help you get more sales from Facebook. Hello, my name is Rob Spence, Managing Director of Paragon Sales Solutions, also sales coach, sales author, and all that jazz. Welcome to our new office. First and foremost, I apologize for perhaps the the poor light um, on the way into the office. I broke our lighting rig, um, so we need to buy a new one. So I apologize for that, but I'm sure you can still all see me and such. In this sales snippet, I wanna to talk to you about Facebook and one simple tip that you can put in to your day-to-day -day prospecting life, your business life or whatever, to help you make more sales. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Facebook is great for prospecting for new business and for making sales. And yes, that does include the B2B sector too. Sure, when we think about social selling and looking to prospect and to sell to business to businesses online, you may automatically think of LinkedIn or even Twitter as the platforms that you want to spend a lot of your time on. However, Facebook is a tool that all of us salespeople and business owners should be using more of. There are 1.49 billion users accessing Facebook daily, and a new user is added every six seconds. It truly is a platform that can really work wonders for your business. And don't forget, even the business to business sector is dominated by human beings, individuals. People that do business frequent Facebook too, don't forget. I wanted to share with you a really simple tip to help you to increase your sales and conversion rate when you're using Facebook. And to help me to get my point across, it'd be good to perhaps share a story with you. As many of you are, I'm sure, I'm part of plenty of Facebook business groups. You know, the virtual kind of business networks that allow you to seek recommendations, look for support, and to just generally network online. In one of these groups, from time to time, I see the same chap advertising his services. He offers a commission-only debt collecting agency for unpaid invoices. Now, of course, this is a service that many small businesses will require. On each and every single time he has posted out his advert, which is quite a nice advert, might I add, I have commented that I would like to be contacted and that I'm very interested in his services. On each and every single occasion, I've had a response back to my comment asking for me to send him a personal message. Each time I've not done that, and each time I've not had any contact from him. What we can see here is someone who is clearly prospecting and looking for more business, but for some reason or another, is forgetting his role as a salesperson to push the sale along. I've given this guy buying signals, I've asked him to make contact with me, and I've had nothing in response. He isn't the only one, I see it far too often. Even in my personal space on Facebook, I see people seeking recommendations for a certain service, and then an individual replying with their contact details in the hope that that contact will be made. And here is my advice to you, if you ever get into a situation where you see someone in need of your product or service on Facebook or any other social media platform for that matter, do not leave it to your prospect to contact you. Make contact with them first. Go the extra mile, send them a message, send them an email, call them if you have to. If you truly want the business, if you truly want the sale, then get out there and go and get it. What do you think? Am I right, am I wrong? Should we'd be sitting back and waiting for prospects to be contacting us? Or should we be doing our job as a salesperson or a business owner? Should we be going out and encouraging that sale to be made? I don't know, drop me an email. My email is below as always, rob at paragonsalesolutions.co.uk. Thank you for watching this week's sales snippet. Do be sure to like, subscribe, share it amongst your networks as far and wide as you can. And until next week, all the best. Thank <music> you.